Whenever it comes to these devices, um, one of the common threads that's brought up is that somehow these devices are scams. The reality of it is, is that what these really are, are basically lottery tickets that just run on your desk all day long. So with these, you have a very minuscule amount of mining power and you're competing with an industrial scale. So you don't even size up to those guys, but there is a chance you are doing the functions, you are participating in the network and you are doing the work that the network could potentially reward if you found the block. Now, your chances of finding a block with one of these devices is like one in two quadrillion. So is it going to happen? No, but there's a chance. The reality with these is that they are cheap, low power, fun devices that frankly are just very cool on your desk. It's not designed to replace a mining rig or you know really do anything all that significant but it is doing something, it is hashing, it is mining. So I think the scam idea with these really just comes from false expectations. Um, a lot of people expect that these are money printers and that they're gonna produce some kind of income. It's just not the case. And if somebody is selling them as that, that's a red flag right off the bat because these will not produce income. The reality of it is, is that even the comparison with a lottery ticket isn't a great comparison because you're not going to get a dollar hit. You're not going to get a dollar reward with one of these. You're either going to get absolutely nothing or you get a reward, which is like $300,000 right now. So it's kind of all or nothing, most likely nothing either. This one is a nerd miner, which is open source firmware. Um, you can see how it operates. You can look at it, uh, how it functions on the blockchain. You can, if you have multiple of them, like I do here, you see this one shows that I have three workers. So I have three devices all doing the same thing on the same wallet. Um, this one is, a, like I said, an open source nerd miner. This one is a closed source NM miner. Now this one has faster hashing power. However, there is a cost to it because it has a license. Personally, for me, I prefer to run you know, two nerd miners over an NM miner, but a lot of people prefer um, to run these. Now, I also run some bit axes and some nerd axes, so I have some significant hash power uh, myself, but I still have these running on my desk um, because they are absolutely the coolest thing ever. Um, so if you want one of these, whether it's a nerd miner, NM miner, or a stand, I have them in two. I have them in one, four, and eight combinations, depending upon how many miners you have. And I also have cooling stands for these to uh, blows air through the back of them, keeps them cool. I have those in the store as well. But hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight on the expectation to have with these and kind of the mentality that you should have going into them.